So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing Radar using the Portainer GUI for Docker. And so Radar is a substitute for Couch Potato, if you know what Couch Potato is, and it helps you find uh, videos on the internet. And of course, as always, only do legal things. Do not do illegal things. And... If you like this video today, make sure you like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and here we go now. And a special thanks to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So the first thing we need to do is open up Portainer and log in. And then we're going to hit local and then go to containers. And so what we're going to be doing is adding radar. And so we're going to go to hub.docker linux server slash radar so you, you can just google, google linux server slash radar docker and this page will come up and we're going to scroll down to our docker information here and so i will basically split screen here and so that looks a little different but the information is the same first thing we need to do is name our container and so we're going to name this radar Next, we're going to copy the name of the Docker here and just paste that where it says image. And we're going to scroll down. And so here it says publish a port and over here P means ports. So we're going to do 7878 and then 7878. Scroll down further. And so we're going to go to volumes and I'll just show you a second here how it looks when it's full screen. So if we go full screen, you can see here volumes is at the top. Uh, and then we network here are all our labels. But when I have it half screen, then it's going to go down. So that's why it looks different. So again, here's volumes. I'm going to click on volumes and then go down to the bottom and then map additional volume scroll down and so here we have three volumes on our right so we have the config movies and then the downloads so first we're going to put slash config and we're going to put bind and so for this we need to know our host path or our volumes and so if we go to open media vaults go to shared folders click on that here you can see here this slash srv slash dev dot dis slash or dash dis dash by dash label dash data dis. This is the absolute path of our disk, so that's what we want. If it's not there, just hit the down arrow, hit columns, and then click on absolute path so it's checked and it will show up. So let's go back to a portainer. So we have our name of our disk now in so we're going to hit slash we're going to put in app data for our app data folder and then we're going to put slash radar and slash and so that will make a folder inside of our app data folder for radar and so if we look at our open media vaults uh, folders you can see inside of there we have our app data which is our config folder downloads and media and so then for the config, this will be made into the app data folder and it will make a radar folder. Now we're going to hit map additional volume. This one is slash movies. And we're going to hit bind again and then copy the label for our host path. And then we're going to hit slash media slash movies and then hit slash and if we go to our folders here you can see i have a media folder that's the first one and we have a movies folder so that's going to go inside of the movies folder and then we're going to hit 
add additional volume. And so this one you can see is slash downloads. So we're going to put slash downloads. Hit bind. Again, paste our path. And so this one is going to be downloads. And then for BitTorrent, if we go to our downloads folder, we open that up, there's the BitTorrent folder. And that is where our BitTorrents live. So we're going to add in slash BitTorrent to find those folders and then hit slash. So next we're going to scroll back up and so the next tab is networks and it's in bridge mode and we're just going to leave it there. Environmental variables and so over here you can see we have three. So the first one is PUID and in general that's going to be 1000 for everyone. And then we're hit add environmental variables PGID. And so how we would find those is we would open PuTTY, put in our server address, which for me is 41. Open that up, log in as root, and your server name, or your server password, excuse me. And then type in ID and your username. And so here you can see our UID is 1000 and our GID is 100. So there's our UID is 1000, so our GID was 100. And then UMask is 022, that's optional, we're not going to use that. Now we scroll back up again, click on labels, no labels to add, restart policy. So the restart policy is restart unless stopped. And so there you can see the restart policy is, and we're going to click unless stopped. And runtime and resources, you can limit how much memory or CPU usage your radar uses. We're not going to do anything. And then capacities, uh, we don't need to do anything there. So we're all done. So we're going to go back up to, it says actions and deploy container and we're going to press on deploy container and that will take a few minutes and it will download the container and then start it up so now you can see radar is up and running and if we click the piece of paper then our logs come up and it looks like everything is running okay so next we want to copy our IP address and paste it there and if we go back to our container information we can see here to access the web UI we need to put colon 7878 so let's backspace colon 7878 and then hit enter and so now we are into radar and so what I'll do in the next video is I will uh, set up radar because we needed to do actually do one more thing and that's actually set up an indexer for everything to work correctly in radar. So I hope you found this video helpful and if it, you did make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell button and you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.